the biggest appeal was actually going down there and teaching them how to do it right yeah. and you know um, not just going down to plant trees which is great but um, actually using the skills I've learned so far Our trip to Haiti this past summer is really to get a lay of the land, do surveying, and so that we could design for the facility. Um, the women are hauling water um, up an 800-foot incline with buckets on their head, and that's and that pretty much is and that's what they do all day long, um, just to sustain themselves. So again, that puts a little urgency on us being able to pump the clean water 800 feet up the hill. For one project to be done successfully, you need a collaborative effort of different majors and the different knowledge that each person will have to contribute to make the project the best that it can be. This is a self-performing team, as we like to say. In other words, they have organized themselves, they have, they have set their own objectives, they have their own subcommittee structure. Anytime we have problems with design, the professors are more than willing to help us out and they've helped with fundraising, really all aspects of the project that we ask for their help on, but they also let us kind of do our own thing so we can take ownership of the project. It's really good because we can bounce ideas off of each other and even with other school work, if you have a question, you can ask somebody in the class and there's a good chance somebody can help you with it. That I find it difficult to teach leadership and teamwork and cultural awareness in the classroom, and I felt that that, that you know they could best learn these in a in a project setting. I almost switched majors actually, um, but then this class it just lets you see like how you really get to use your degree and how you make like a difference with other people. When I got back, a lot of the main question I got is, would you go back? And my answer was normally, yes, I'd love to come back, but I'm ready to be here for a while. And I believe, and the students believe, that a potential employer will look at a resume and see participation in Clemson Engineers for Developing Countries, and that will carry far more weight than a grade point average.